Hi guys, welcome to the fourth week of full body home workout program. Check out the previous three weeks if you have clicked this video for the first time. Link is there in the description box. I'll be posting the workout videos three days a week, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Click the time code if you directly want to start with the warm up. And also check out the list of things mentioned in the description box that you can buy to upgrade your home workouts. Let's go. Proper warm up will show how well you respect your body. By doing that, it will increase our body temperature, which in return will help you loosen those joints and increase the blood flow to the muscles. This will help you to perform the movements efficiently. Now, without further ado, let's begin with the warm up. Let's start by doing a slow jog on the spot. On the left side, I am doing it slightly faster with the jumping variation. And on the right side, I am doing a scale down variation where you walk on the spot. Choose according to your fitness level. We will be doing this for 60 seconds. So just focus on your breathing and keep moving. We are already halfway there. Almost there guys, just couple of seconds to go and we are done. Neck rotations. We'll do some slow neck rotations now. 10 repetitions clockwise and counterclockwise. Single arm circles, 10 clockwise, 10 counterclockwise. Keep your arms straight and make big circles. Folded arm circles, 10 reps clockwise and 10 reps counterclockwise. Get your fingertips on your shoulders and make big circles. Try to touch your elbows together. Wrist stretches. Cross your fingers, make a fist and rotate your wrist in a loop for 10 to 20 seconds. Once you are done, hold your fingers and gently stretch your wrist by keeping the arm straight at shoulder height. Do it for both the hands by holding the stretch for few seconds. Torso rotation. Keep your feet wider than your shoulders. Keep your torso straight and upright. Hand straight and forward. Rotate the torso right and left slowly and finish 10 repetitions each side. If you are not able to go all the way back, try to rotate as much as possible. Hip rotations. 
Keep your feet underneath your shoulders. Hands on your waist. Bend your knees a little. Seven clockwise rotation and seven counterclockwise rotation. Toe touches. Keep feet wider than your shoulders. Take your right hand and touch left toe and then switch. If you're not able to go all the way down, touch till the middle of your shins. Finish at least 20 total repetitions nice and slow. Hamstring scoops. Keep right leg forward on the heel. Bend the knee of the opposite leg. Slowly take both the hands closer to the right heel and scoop it up. Repeat on the opposite leg. Finish 20 total repetitions. This will warm up your hamstrings and calves. Ankle rotations. Hold the wall if you need to. Rotate your ankle 10 reps towards clockwise and then counterclockwise. Finish on the right leg and then on the left. Quad stretch and reach. With the right hand, hold the right leg and squeeze it closer to the hips and then reach higher. Repeat 10 to 12 times. You can hold the wall for the support. Alternate skips or A skips. Getting the right leg and the left hand up and then do the opposite with a little jump. If it's challenging, do it without the jump, finish 30 total reps. High knees. Left one is a jumping version and the right one is the scaled version where you do it one leg at a time by rotating the torso and touching the opposite elbow. Finish 30 total reps. Butt kicks. Finish 30 total reps by kicking your heel back to your hips. If it's challenging, do it without the jump. All right, guys, we are warmed up and ready to go. We will be doing 12 minutes modified Tabata on the running clock. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Now, if working for 40 seconds too challenging for you, I want you to scale it down, do 30 seconds of work followed by 30 seconds of rest. Our main focus for today will be lower body plus core conditioning using four different movements. 
Glued bridge. You can see two different variations, one with feet elevated which makes it more intense and one with feet on the floor. Squeeze your glutes at the top and briefly pause for a second before you lower it down. Sprinter crunches. Choose between the standard variation where you keep your hands behind the head, lift your shoulders off the floor and touch your opposite knee and elbow together while kicking the other leg out straight. Or keep your hands under your hips and just kick your legs in and out. Wall sit. Start by keeping your feet away from the wall. Lean back with your hips and torso touching the wall. Keep your hands on your shoulders and hold this position by keeping your thighs parallel to the floor. Avoid leaning forward like this. Hold for 40 seconds or accumulate 40 seconds. If it's too challenging to do wall sit, do the seated version where you extend your legs straight and squeeze your thighs for a second or two. You can make it challenging by putting ankle weights or holding a small kettlebell on your feet. Plank hold. Get down on the floor, fold your arms, get elbows under your shoulders and get your feet together. Hold the body parallel to the floor by squeezing your glutes and keeping the core tight. Make sure not to drop the hips way too down or take it way too up. Scale it to the chair plank with arms extended if holding on the floor is too challenging. Try not to drop your hips way too down or way too high. Hold it straight at 45 degree angle. Starting with the workout in 10 seconds. Get ready. 40 seconds of max attempt. Starting with glute bridge. Next movement is sprinter crunches. Let's go. Focus on your breathing guys, walk around and have a sip of water if you need to. Next movement is wall sit. Let's go. Rest. Next movement is plank hold. Let's go. Ten seconds. 
rest moving into our second round starting with glute bridge again Next movement is sprinter crunches. Let's go. Focus on your breathing guys walk around and have a sip of water if you need to next movement is wall sit let's go Rest. Next movement is plank hold. Let's go. rest moving into our last round starting with glute bridge again
नेक्स्ट मूवमेंट इज प्रिंटर क्रांचेस Let's go. rest focus on your breathing guys walk around and have a sip of water if you need to next movement is wall sit let's go Rest. Next movement is plank hold. Let's go. Well done. Well done guys, you did an amazing job. Pause the video, take 5 minutes rest before you move to the stretches. After every workout, it's very important to stretch the muscles to keep them strong and healthy. We will be working on three different stretches and holding them for minimum 60 to 90 seconds. Quad stretch on the wall. Fold the right leg by keeping the knee closer to the wall and pointing the toe up. Keep the other leg in a lunge position. You can take a support from a chair or just sit straight holding for 60 seconds. If folding on the floor is too challenging, do a standing version and take a support from a chair or a wall. switch legs and hold for 60 seconds more and focus on your breathing
relax lying knee hug lie down on the floor facing up fold your right knee and pull it closer to your chest while keeping the other leg straight hold for 60 seconds and focus on your breathing Switch to the other side and hold for 60 more seconds. relax seal pose lie down on the floor facing down keep both the hands outside your chest extend your upper body by keeping your arms straight if it's too challenging for you keep your arms folded elbows under your shoulders and extend your upper body i'll be doing it with extended arms 60 second hold and focus on your breathing relax don't forget to fuel your body with good nutrition and hydration i have added couple of links in the description box which will give you the basic idea about the same if you like the workout do share it with your friends and family and let us know in the comments below and i'll see you in the next session